Okay, so in the spin manometer, madalas nating uh, naririnig yung mga numbers like yung blood pressure niya is 120 over 80. So that is the normal uh, blood pressure, 120 over 80 millimeter of mercury. So blood pressure is measured in the unit mmHg or millimeter of mercury. We have two types of pressure in that uh, spigma manometer. So, yung unang number, which is 120, yung unang sinasabi, that is the systole or the systolic pressure. So, it happens, uh, we measure that, we measure the systolic pressure when the ventricles contract. And then, the second number, yung over 80, is called as the diastole. So, diastole or diastolic pressure. So, it happens or we measure that when the ventricles relax. Uh, the wave of pressure that rises and falls in the arteries, we can feel that as the pulse o yung pulso natin tinatawag. And the average pulse or bits per minute or pulse rate is 65 between 65 to 80 bits per minute. Okay. And then, uh, we have here, uh, of course, the arteries also carry oxygenated blood, which is bright red in color. And most of that, kaya siya bright red, kasi, kasi nga meron siya oxygen, and of course, it is loaded with nutrients. Ayan. Next, uh, we have the next one, which is, ito pala. Ayan, so dun muna tayo sa, bago tayo pum pumunta dun sa veins. Okay, so we have here the parts of the sphygmomanometer. So I also have here our sphygmomanometer in the house. Kaya talaga pag may mga asamang senior citizen sa bahay. Okay. So we have first the cuff. So ito yung cuff. Ayan. So this is the cuff. So ito yung binabalot sa dito sa brachial. Ayan. So malapit sa sa artery. Sa main artery kaya sa brachial dito. Ayan. Malapit sa main artery yung brachial. So, that's why doon kinakabit yung cuff. Ito yon. Okay. So, this is the cuff. Next is the gauge. So, the gauge. Dito sa gauge. Ayan. Dito nyo makikita yung uh, numbers in units of measure na mmHg. So, 20 hanggang 300 yung dito. Ayan. So, ito yung manual na sphygmomanometer. Uso na kasi ngayon yung mga sphygmomanometer na uh, digital. Okay. Basta na lang sinusuot yung cuff and then meron ng air na lalabas to test the pressure. Next, we have the bulb. So, ayun yung bulb. So, nakikita nyo naman yung picture doon. So, ito yung bulb. Ayan. Ito yung pinipress to to have air, yung cuff, ayan, para mag-tighten yung cuff. And then we have, uh, ito bulb, bulb, B-U-L-B. The other one is the valve. Ayan, napindot ng ating PowerPoint. Okay, so ito naman yung valve. So you adjust the bulb to release the air dun sa cuff. Ayan. Ihigpitan mo siya para hindi makawala yung air. And then, kapag it's the time to release the air, iikot mo lang siya to release the air. Ito yung bulb. So, hindi lang kita pero merong butas yung bulb. Ayan. So, I will bring this also in the laboratory. So, this will be a part uh, of an activity in which you're going to measure uh, blood pressure of your partners. Ayan. And then the tube. So, ito yung tube na dinadaanan ng air from the bulb hanggang sa cuff. Okay. So, that's the part of sphygmomanometer. And, of course, you cannot hear uh, 
the beat of the heart, yung pressure, without this one, without the stethoscope. Okay, so here, we have here the stethoscope, and the parts, etong buong to, ayan, is the headset, and so nakikita niyo yung headset. Next is the ear tip, eto naman yung ear tip, and then we have also the, uh, the tubing, eto yung tubing, and then ear tube, ayan, hollow din to, eto din, hollow. Ayan. Next, we have the chest piece. Ito yun. Ayan. Yung gitna, chest piece. And then, the tunable diaphragm. So, this one is the tunable diaphragm. So, sana nakikita niyan. yan. Wait lang. Okay, next yung stem na tinatawag. So, ito naman yung stem. Ito yon yon Ito yung tunable diaphragm. Yung tuktok nito, tinatawag din yung bell. B-E-L-L. Ito. Bell. And then, you can adjust this one. Kapag mahina yung, ah, yung beat, pwede mo siyang i-adjust. Kaya sa tunable, pa pwede mo siyang iikot, palakasin, or pahinain yung tunog. Okay, so yun yung stethoscope together with the sphygmomanometer. Okay, next is another one to to measure or monitor the heartbeat. We have what we call electrocardiogram, ECG or EKG. Ayan. So, dun sa mga, uh, yung electrocardiogram, so, kinakabitan siya ng apparatus tineta na ECG or yung electrocardiogram nga and then it produces this one. Ayan. Yung papel na may uh, systolic and diastolic ranges. Ayan. So, ito lang yung example. So, problems with signal conduction due to a disease or abnormalities of the conducting system can occur any place along the heart's conduction pathway. Abnormally conducted signals resulting in irregular ha heartbeat are called arrhythmias. So, ito yung pattern na, na uh, tinitingnan nila. So, they have the atrial systole and atrial diastole. Ventricular systole and ventricular diastole. So, kap tinitingnan nila yung uh, pattern kung paano mag-pump yung atrium at ventricle. Kung nakakaya yung pressure. So, kapag hindi, ibig sabihin uh, may nakabara doon sa uh, either sa atrium or sa ventricle or sa mga arteries. Ayan. Next, ayan. So, next na tayo, we have here the veins. So, veins, uh, the function of the vein is to return the blood back to the heart. And it carries the oxygenated blood. So, these are thinner. Uh, they have thicker, uh, thinner walls than arteries. Okay. So, for the veins, meron tayong tinatawag na kapag madalas na tayo nakatayo or lagi tayo nakatayo, Yung nagkakaroon tayo ng swollen networks of veins resulting to uh, varicose veins. Kasi the veins stretch and the valves do not close properly. Ayan. So, ang nangyayari, nagsuswell siya. Ayan. So, yung blood na iipon lang dun sa veins. Kasi hindi uh, nagko-close properly yung valves. So, it results in varicose uh, veins. Yung sa, sa legs. Ayan. Pwede rin sa, yung sa kamay, pag masyadong, uh, ang tawag dito, pasma dun yung kamay natin. Next, we have, so, complete na natin yung uh, three types of blood vessel. We have the arteries, capillaries, and the veins. 
Okay. Wait lang. Ito pala yung illustration nung sa three types. So, artery, yung pinakamalaki na blood vessel. And then, it has the ar uh, arterioles. So, ito yon yung branches, arterioles. And, attached to the arterioles are uh, the capillaries. Ayan. Then, we have here the veins which are the oxygenated. So, kaya ganun yung uh, illustration. Kapag oxygenated, so, bright red yung color. Kasi, it contains, ayan, na-activate mabuti yung hemoglobin through the presence of the oxygen. And then, kapag naman yung vein, color blue siya, the oxygenated. So, madalas sa mga illustration ng circulatory system, ganun. Okay, next we have uh, the blood circulation. So, how does the blood circulate? So, paano? Ano yung pathways? So, we have the three major pathways for the blood circulation. First, we have the pulmonary circulation. Second, systemic circulation. And the third one is coronary circulation. Pero mauna kong madiscuss yung coronary bago yung systemic. Okay, so first one. Ayan. So, dito muna tayo sa pulmonary circulation. So, it happens when there is a flow of blood through the heart and lungs and then back to the heart in which uh, the blood gets oxygen from the lungs. Okay, so anong nangyayari? So, how does it work or what is the start of uh, this circulation? First, uh, meron tayong deoxygenated blood and then the deoxygenated blood will go to will enter the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. Saan galing yung deoxygenated blood? So, galing sa, kanina sinabi ko yung superior vena cava is from the upper part or upper extremities. So, doon galing yung deoxygenated blood. Doon siya papasok sa superior vena cava. Doon naman sa inferior vena cava, so, manggagaling naman yung deoxygenated blood sa lower parts. That is, uh, in for Kaya siya inferior. And then, so once it enters the superior and inferior vena cava, it goes in the right atrium. So the right atrium, ito, RA. So the right atrium, when it contracts, ayan, it pushes the blood to the right ventricle. Ayan. So kapag nandun na sa right ventricle, ito, right ventricle, it will contract and push the blood. So, saan naman ipupush ni right ventricle? It will push uh, the blood through the pulmonary artery in which it is connected to the lungs. And then, inside the lungs, nandun yung capillaries ng ating air sacs, which are the alveoli. So, doon na. So, dahil ito ay deoxygenated, meron siyang dalang uh, dito, carbon dioxide. So, kukuha naman siya ng oxygen. Okay. So, once it enters the lungs, and then kumuha na siya ng oxygen kay alveoli sa air sac, it will become oxygenated blood. And then, kapag may oxygenated blood na siya, it will go to the pulmonary veins. Okay. And then, pulmonary veins is connected to the left atrium. Okay. So, left atrium, so when it, it, it contracts, uh, it will go to the left ventricle. And after the contraction of the left ventricle, it will push the blood to the aorta. And aorta is connected to... Uh, aorta is the biggest artery. Ayan. So, or the largest artery that we have that is connected to the heart. And then, this aorta is connected to different arteries. And it, it, it will deliver the blood through the different parts of the body. So, oxygenated na yung i-deliver nung uh, arteries na yan. Okay, so that is pulmonary circulation. Just getting oxygenate, uh, oxygen to make the oxygenated blood oxygenated. Okay, so the next uh, circulation is coronary circulation. In coronary circulation, uh, like all other organs in the body that needs oxygen and nutrients, uh, the heart also needs oxygen and nutrients. But then, it cannot directly uh, absorb 
those nutrients in oxygen. So, we have here uh, the coronary artery. Uh, the aorta branches into coronary arteries that supply blood to the heart muscles. The oxygenated blood from the tissues of the heart passes through the coronary veins, then back to circulation. So, through coronary artery, doon lang uh, nagkakaroon ng oxygen and ng nutrients yung heart. So, yun lang naman yung sa coronary circulation, maikli lang siya. Next is Systemic circulation. Uh, this circulation is the longest ayan, circulation sa ating uh, sa blood circulation. Wherein uh, oxygen, oxygenated blood that comes from the left ventricle uh, to the aorta and then to all parts of the body. Yun yung nangyayari sa systemic circulation. And then we have different types of systemic circulation. We have renal circulation. So, in renal circulation, this involves the kidneys, uh, two renal arteries to heart. Ayan. And yung blood, nafi-filter siya doon sa kidney. Tapos, uh, yung filtered blood na yun is pupunta sa renal arteries. And then, pupunta sa heart through the renal veins. Ayan. So, from kidney to renal arteries to renal veins para mapunta sa heart. It removes uh, nitrogenous waste, water, and salts from the blood. So, yun yung renal circulation. Next, uh, we have here the hepatic portal circulation. In the hepatic portal circulation, it involves the liver, spleen, stomach, small intestine, and the large intestine. Ah... Uh, Kaya dumadaan din yung blood dito sa liver, spleen, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, is to load the nutrients. Ayan, syempre, uh, sa digestive system natin, we absorb nutrients from the food that we eat and also water. So, we rehydrate. So, kailangan yun ng blood. So, dadaan talaga dapat siya dyan in order to have nutrients and water. Next, uh, those organs, those digestive or organs create uh, or intersects in one vein. So, that is the portal vein. So, yung portal vein na yun ay doon na ipon lahat ng uh, nutrients coming from the digestive organs. And then, it will be passed uh, through the liver. Uh, then, to hepatic veins. And then, doon na sa inferior vena haba. Papunta na ulit siya sa right atrium. Okay. So, yun yung sa systemic circulation. So, actually, after pulmonary circulation, di ba lumabas na sa nga? Ito yun. Lumabas na siya sa aorta. Ayan. Ito na yung uh, sa lahat ng organs natin. Systemic circulation. And then, Pupunta na ulit siya dun sa simula ng pulmonary circulation in which deoxygenated na ulit from the, and then it will enter the right atrium. So, uh, so yun, yun yung uh, systemic circulation. Next. Ayan, so we're already done with uh, circulatory system. The next system that I'm going to discuss is about the lymphatic system. Okay, so what is uh, the function of this lymphatic system? So, the function of the lymphatic system is to collect lymph from body tissues and return it to the blood. So, what are lymphs? Ayan, ano naman yung lymphs? Lymphs are uh, consist of Water, and they consist mostly of water, and also dissolved substances and lymphocytes. So, we are know that lymphocytes is a type of white blood cell. So, paano ba nakukuha tong lymph na ito? So, as blood flows in the capillaries, uh, nutrients and oxygen pass through the capillary walls to be absorbed by the cells. 
considerable amounts of water and dissolved materials normally leak through the walls of the capillaries and become the fluid that bathes the cells. This fluid is known as lead. So these are uh, excess fluids known ating uh, nananggagaling doon sa capillaries. So lymphs uh, travel in lymph vessels. So just like the blood, it travels through the blood vessels. So ito naman, lymph vessels. And then it passes through the lymph nodes. So anong gagawin nung lymph nodes? Uh, in order to filter out microorganisms and foreign substances engulfed by the lymphocytes. Okay. So, kaya kung mapapansin nyo, kapag medyo sinisipon kayo, so, nagsiswollen yung, ano, nagsiswell yung lymph nodes nyo dito. Ayan. So, yung sinitawag nyo kulan, yung ingan sa Tagalog. Okay. So, these uh, lymphs are mostly found in capillary beds dahil nga naglilik yung uh, fluid na yon or yung lymph doon from the capillary walls. Kaya they are mostly found in capillary beds. We have three uh, points of lymph nodes or uh, dito. lymph nodes in the body. It can be seen in the, the tonsils, thymus, and spleen. So, tonsils, they are found uh, doon sa may, uh, sa mouth natin, and sa loob. So, it protects the mouth and nose against pathogens. When there is an infection, nagsuswell yung tonsils, and then it is known as tonsillitis. Okay, so yun yun. Next, we have uh, the thymus. So, the thymus is located behind the breastbone, and it functions for the production of the lymphocytes. And also, uh, we have here the spleen. Or uh, the spleen is located in the upper left of the stomach. And the function is to filter blood and it breaks down dead red blood cells. And immediately it is uh, being replaced through the production of the bone marrow. Diba? Sabi ko na naman kanina. Okay? So, yun yung lymph nodes. So, yun lang naman yung uh, the lymphatic system is important in, in fighting viruses, bacteria because of this lymphocytes. So, ayan, that is the end of the three topics for ayan, topics in the final. So, we have uh the respiratory system, circulatory system, and the lymphatic.